Hello YouTube, hey, it's Chris again and I'm back in the Bolt and you know what, uh, winter is coming to Vancouver and everyone's starting to get excited about the ski season so I wanted to show you my setup on the Bolt um, because I'm really happy with it and I'll tell you why before I show you. Um, this is a Yakima system and they've got a unique uh, foot pad that allows you to quickly disconnect the um, crossbars off the top of the car when you're not using your um, snowboard or ski rack. And what's cool about that is this car is almost silent going down the road, you got to remember. So guess what? Even though I've got these fancy whisper bars that make supposedly make no um, noise, they still make a little bit of noise. And you can hear that on the car because there's no other noise in the car. Uh, so uh, having this special system where it allows you to just disconnect them really quick is going to allow you to get rid of this stuff off your car when you're not using it. So a whole bunch of benefits there. One is you're not going to have the noise. You're not going to, um, you know, there's less resistance with the air. So you're going to be more aerodynamic and not leave them on. I think with a lot of these systems, people would tend to leave them on for the whole entire season uh, because they're paying the ass to get off your car. So this one's super easy. I'm going to show you how it works. And then the other, I guess, advantage is that by taking them off the car, you're going to end up, um, they're going to last longer because they're not going to sit in the weather when you're not using them. So let me show you that real quick. So this is kind of the whole system on the car. Let me show you there. There you go. Um, and uh, the magic, so here's the um, the snowboard and ski racks. Very simple. Uh, this one is actually a little bit of rebranding uh, because this company, Wispbar, was bought by this company, Yakima. So I bought the Wispbar version and saved a couple hundred dollars over um, buying the Yakima one, which would have been current this year. So yeah, I do get... Uh, the separate branding, but they are made, you know, by the same company. And you can tell the tight integration here, how this actually works. This slides along this plastic rail here, so you can move this along and it uh, connects up. So it's nice and sturdy and really easy. But here's the magic part. So here's these bars that are supposed to be, um, you know, very uh, quiet. Um, and they, I guess they are better than round bars, but, but here's the magic part by pulling off these connections this will just lift right off. Okay, so this locks, of course, no one can steal it. And the key for the Yakima is the same as the key for the Wisp bar, they're the same. Uh, but to remove this stuff off your car, all you do is just unlock and pull these and you can pull the whole kit off your car very quickly. And that is a huge benefit. So let me just show you that real quick. Okay, so there you go. Uh, quickly, within a few moments, I was able to remove the entire racking system off the car. And um, what you're left with is this little, they call it landing pad 19, but that's the little foot. Let me show you what to do with that. So once you've removed and you got landing pad 19, they have these little caps that just go on and they're branded Yakima. So they just clip into here. And that just keeps the water and gunk and snow or whatever is going to, uh, go into that little trough. All right, so that's about it. Pretty cool. Um, it could be slightly better. I'll show you why. You can see right there how they connect to your, uh, the Premier has rails already built into the car, but they're not adjustable. Basically, that's it. They have to go where they sit. So depending on the size of your snowboard binding uh, width, you may find that you have to put one binding in front of one of the rails and one binding behind the rail rather than both bindings between the rails which is which is what I would have preferred. I would have preferred that they move this one or make it adjustable that you can come back to about that far. That would allow me to get my board onto the car and have um, both bindings between the rails. But other than that, like I say, pretty good, works super easy and look how fast it made my car back to the stealth bolt design. Pretty cool.